Okay, so I wrote this piece last semester. Hopefully I still remember it. Um, so I was, <laughs> I was sitting in the back of class and listening to Nas, he was Illmatic, and um, just got inspired to write a letter to hip hop and tell him, him in this piece, how he changed. Um, so yeah. A letter to my first true love. One. I was 10 years old the first time I heard your voice come through my speakers and we fell in love immediately. You told me then that being young and black was a trend not many wanted to follow, but my value was too much to be measured. And I believed you, Nas. You told my story in a way I trusted no one else to do over bass and hard beats in the fifth grade. You told me what blood diamonds were. So by the age of 12, I was throwing mine in the sky. Two. You are an addiction. You are everyone's addiction. Stories of our childhood afflictions that we wish to forget, but you somehow made them sound like beautiful stories of survival. You weren't good for me, but everything I needed to feel better. So you became all I would listen to. Illmatic, life after death, 36 chambers, black star. I would inject your rhythms into your, to my veins. Inhale your stories of injustice in the American dream. You taught me how to dream. But three, my heart can no longer handle loving you. You've changed. You used to stand for something. I fell in love with your ability to storytell, so I guess I can't be too upset you are no longer a nonfiction writer. And I wanted you to love me back, but instead you sold your soul to the devil, and now you pose for magazine covers and sell yourself for exposure. You stopped listening to the little black boys and the little black girls, the hard knocks. I guess MTV. BET, world star, had more to offer you than us. Four, if hip hop shall die, we'll die together. Five, I am killing myself. Six, how can they say you were dead? I thought Wu-Tang was forever. Seven, you've been tricked. They told you fame and bling will make you shine, but you are more worthless than ever before, hanging yourself by the news of your two chains and the lies in your lyrics. You no longer give us anything to listen to, to look up to. You used to teach us to fight to find a way out. Now you're teaching us to fight ourselves, to fight each other, to conform to the societal pressures, to pop mollies and drink Syrah. Eight. Hip hop used to be the voice of the voiceless. You are the voice of the corporate now. You are a new creature. Nine. If they were to ask me why I used to love you, I would not be able to give them an answer. I loved you as much as I hated you. You told our stories, yet masked our true identities. I doubt I'll ever be the same, hollowed by thy name. Hip hop, you are a disease. You are the needle in the hand of a pregnant woman. You are the bullet shell left on the playground. You are hunger, lights off. You are the American dream, the last hope any of us will ever have. It. Mm -hmm.